Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be discussing a weapon and a certain build that is absolutely dominating the new onslaught. And to be honest, I think it is probably the best PvE weapon in the game at the minute. Now, if you guys agree or disagree, let me know down in the comment section. And with that said, let's jump straight into it. Massive shout out to Blazing Boost sponsoring today's video. If you guys are looking for anything Destiny 2 related, click the link in the description. And they are offering services for Into the Light, such as Onslaught, the Whisper mission. And they do also have a Trust Pilot review with over 34,000 five star reviews. And if you guys do use BB Unstoppable 5 at checkout, you will get a 5% discount. So I'll leave a link in the description and let's jump straight into it. So the weapon I have been trying out recently and I've found to be absolutely incredible is the Sunshot. Now this hand cannon was good before, however it did get a buff I think a few months ago. And I've never really tried it, but trust me with the build I put on, it absolutely shreds enemies. And it's basically the Fate Bringer from D1, but on steroids. Now, it comes with Chambered Compensator, Accurized Round, Sun Blast. So, targets defeated with Sunshot explode in solar energy, scorching other nearby targets. Textured Grip. Then its intrinsic tray is sunburn. This weapon fires explosive rounds and highlights targets that take damage from the sunshot. And then we do have the sunshot catalyst, which increases the range and stability. And just look at the stats on the right for this thing. It's absolutely incredible. Now, if you pair this up with a solar build, you can deal some insane damage, especially if you can sort of get it synergizing. So for today's video, we are running the Golden Gun Marksman with Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump, Knife Trick, Healing Grenades, On Your Mark and Knock Em Down. Then we do have Ember of Wonder, Ember of Sinjin, Ember of Ashes, Ember of Torches and Ember of Empyrean. Now, this absolutely synergizes so well, especially with the Sunshot. And not only that with these right here, but we'll get onto them after. Stats wise, I'd try and aim for high resilience, high recovery, high discipline if you guys can. I usually change these two around if I need to, depending on what activity I am running. But if you can get triple 100, you are laughing with this build. Now for the helmet, what we are running is a discipline mod, harmonic siphon, kinetic siphon and hands on gain bonus energy on melee kills. Then we do have a recovery mod, focusing strike, momentum transfer and a bolstering detonation. For our chest piece we are running a recovery mod, concussive dampener and font of endurance. And it does say you gain a bonus to resilience while you have an any armor charge, your armor now decays. And what makes this build absolutely insane and most hand cannon builds is the lucky pants. So as you can see. When you ready a fully loaded hand cannon that deals kinetic damage or a damage type that matches your subclass energy type, each hit from that hand cannon increases the damage of the next shot for a short duration against a combatant. Hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate. Immediately after swapping to them provides a small benefit to airborne effectiveness and of hand cannons while the buff is active. So it does an absolutely insane amount. And if you then even pair it with the solar weapon surge, as you can see, it does in fact say your solar weapons gain a small bonus to damage while you have an armor charge. And it's pretty easy to get with this build, so you're going to be dealing a lot more. Then we're running a recovery mod, outreach, powerful attraction and time dilation. Honestly, this synergized into one is insane. It deals so much damage don't want to talk on it too much but i'll leave you with some gameplay of the sunshot it's a meta at the minute trust me and you'll see from the gameplay i'm about to show you but if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe drop a like on today's video and with that said let's jump into it 